What's up gang? You're here to learn how to lazy load images with JavaScript. If you haven't seen the Intersection Observer, head over to the MDM page now. The Intersection Observer is an API provided by the browser. It tells you whenever an element is entering a viewport or when it's getting close. Very performant compared to the old school listening to a squirrel event on the window. Definitely don't do that anymore. This is what it's all about. First things first, what are we going to practice on? If you head over to W3 Schools, They've got some responsive HTML templates which are perfect for this. I'm going to go with this one. It's got quite a lot of images as we scroll down, perfect for this use case. Here's the template locally. I've stuffed it into a simple Webpack setup and all I've done is insert the script from the Webpack bundle. And currently there's nothing in there as you can see. If I put a login, put npm run start, we should see the browser opens and there it is. The template locally hosted on 8080. If we come over to the console, open up the network tab and refresh, we can see all the images load when the page loads as standard. The first thing we're going to do is head over to the Intersection Observer MDN page and pinch their example. Stick that into our code base and as you can see they're observing one element where we want to observe a collection. So the first thing we're going to do is say const images is equal to document dot query selector all. Grab all the images on the page. And we're going to say for each image we want to take this observer and replace that element with our image. So now we're going to observe all the images and inside the intersection observers callback we want to run a loop for each entry in here if the entry is intersecting but we're going to put is not intersecting and then we're going to return early so it does nothing if it's not intersecting if it is intersecting, we're going to log and also we're going to take it a step further. We're going to get our instance and we're going to unobserve that specific entry just so that it only ever fires on one image one time. Come back over here, go to the console and we can see we've got an error. That's fine, that's just because we forgot to say target. If we refresh, can see we're getting logs as we're going down the page and new images are being shown that's perfect so how do we go from here to actually lazy loading the images well we're going to have to pop back over to our html since some of the images are going to be above the fold we're not going to bother it lazy loading them so what we're actually going to do is swap out the source for a data source until it intersects at which point we'll swap the data source for the source attribute so i'm going to quickly select all of our images here using command D, not going to select the script at the bottom there, and I'm just going to append source with data hyphen. If I come back over to the site, you can see the first four images there have loaded and then the rest have not loaded, which is exactly what we're after. Coming back over to our intersection observer here, we're going to start by destructuring our target. And what we're looking for is a source attribute on the data set. If source is not present, we're going to return early. And if it is present, we're going to set it as the source on the image. This should mean now when I refresh the page and scroll down, things are loading in as we go. Perfect. In essence, that's done now. If you're happy, with the support that Intersection Observer has, you don't have to do anything else. If, however, your website gets some Internet Explorer traffic, you're going to have to do another step. What you could do is come over to this NPM page and install the Intersection Observer Polyfill, which will make sure it works on Internet Explorer. That's a good option if you don't want to do much more work. But if you're a hard worker like me, you've got one other option. What we'll do is we'll wrap this in a self-executing anonymous function just to take it out of the global scope. 
Next, we'll make a function called load images, which takes images as an argument. Images, it loops through the images. Does the same similar thing as our lazy load. It looks for source on image dot data set. If there's no source, it returns early. And if there is, then image dot source is equal to source. Now, what we're going to do inside the main function is say if there's no window dot intersection observer then load images we'll pass in images that we already collected here and then we will return early so that none of this ever happens if you load this page and just for a test we'll put in here false should find all the images load straight away no problem and if we go back to our normal setup, the images load as you scroll. Perfect. That's lazy loading in action. No polyfill required, no external module required. Thank me in the comments and with the like button. Subscribe if you've got an internet connection and you'd like to see some more tutorials. No!